NASA awards a 3D food printing grant. Yes, you heard it here, folks. Heard it here first, folks. NASA is creating a three-month grant to develop a 3D food printer. Um, the company Quartz it says, it says that the food, it's a food technology company, and basically what they believe is that, that you can use this printer to solve the world's hunger problems. So I said to myself, really? Could a 3D printer really solve this world's hunger problems? But they explain more. And they say what they use is they use proteins, carbohydrates, and sugars to create edible food creations that they print out. Um, and I guess they use the protein to build the, the, the that's what they, that's like the quote unquote paper in this formula. Um, and they believe that if they create, if they use this, they can create, you know, they can solve all the world's hunger problems. And the other part that makes this thing so unique and so interesting is that they also say they can use some other food sources that, you know, we wouldn't really necessarily think about using. Um, like bugs, algae, duckweed, and on and on and on and on and on. So you could get like a printed out like chicken leg, but it's really made of like ant parts or something, I guess. I don't know. Either way, I think this is a very, very interesting project. I'm not really sure how I feel about eating. Like people make big hay about genetically modified food. I wonder people what type of you know hay they make about food made by a 3D printer. Um, it raises an eyebrow of this is just really weird and it's probably unhealthy for my body. But at the same time, with that being said, as Americans, we eat a lot of unhealthy stuff for our bodies, as it is. We eat McDonald's, Burger King, frozen pizzas, um, you know, processed foods, genetically modified chickens. I can go on and on and on and on and on about all the horrible things we eat. So I think adding 3D printed apples to the list is not going to make life any better or any worse. It's just going to give us more options of unhealthy food items to eat. Um, either way, whether or not this can solve the world's hunger problem, we'll still have to wait and see. But with that being said, I think having some sort of solution where we can produce food, massively produce food um, and give it to the world's hungry might be a solution. I don't know. Um, this is definitely an area of a new scientific development and scientific innovation, something that we should stay tuned to. We're going to stay tuned to it here at The Fowler Show and keep you briefed on what happens next.